Hey, Emily Quisenberry here with emilyquisenberry.com. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hey, I just wanted to shoot this quick video because I wanted to find out, do you feel like you have a really good how-to cold market prospect? A really good system, a really good outline of what you need to be doing when you are out and about. Um, I wanted to share a quick story with you that happened to me over the weekend. And then in the post, I'm actually gonna outline this specific how-to so that you can take this information and put it into practice in your own business and see what happens. So Saturday I was out grocery shopping and um, I was going walking into Costco because it's my very favorite store. I love Costco, I go there every week. And there was a young guy, sales guy, standing kind of right there in the front at the electronics. And um, we made eye contact and he said, um, hi ma'am, you know, what cable company are you using? And so I told him and he goes, oh my gosh, come over, come, please come over and check out and see how we're saving Costco members money on their cable bill. And I said, okay, great. Um, two things, I really didn't want to go because I truthfully know that I have a good deal and I don't really care to change. Um, but number two, I really felt like this could be a potential prospecting moment. I mean, here's a young man in sales having to kind of cold market prospect right in the middle of Costco. So I thought, you know what, let's just kind of go with it and see what happens. And um, I let him go through his little presentation and then he asked me how much I was paying. And I told him and he said, oh wow, you really do have a good deal. And I said, yeah, I do. So at that moment, um, I kind of transitioned and just kind of started asking him some questions about himself. I just said, you know, how long have you been doing this? And it's only been two weeks. And I was like, oh my gosh, you are amazing. I can't believe how much confidence and, and courage you have to be able to stand out there and do that. And he was like, oh, wow, thank you. And then I just said, you know, tell me, you know, what are you in school? Because he was really young. He was 19. And, um, you know, is this what your hope is for your future? Is this the company you're going to be with? And he was like, no, not at all. So I just kind of tried to start asking some questions. What are your plans? What are your hopes? You know, but very, you know, I did, it was a quick conversation. It wasn't like we were standing there for 20 minutes talking, but I just asked him several key questions. And once I determined that he really had um, a skill set there and I didn't, I didn't feel like he was really happy with what he was doing, um, I, you know, I had obviously been interested in him. I had complimented him. Then I shared a big benefit of what it, what I do. And I just said, you would be really good at what I do. And he goes, what do you do? And I said, well, I actually help young people become entrepreneurs so that they can, um, you know, create the life they love and, and design their own life over the next four to five years so that they enjoy it now rather than, you know, in, in 40 or 50 years. And he was like, oh my gosh, I'm intrigued. And I said, awesome. I said, so you're open. And as I'm saying this to him, so you're open to hearing about how you could make additional income or, you know, um, you know, be an entrepreneur. He was like grabbing a piece of paper and a pen because my phone actually I'd already shared with him was getting fixed. It was at the iPhone repair shop. So he's writing his information down. And I just said simply, great. I would love to send you something, um, a video to check out. Um, I'm helping some other young people achieve freedom in their life and would love to see if it's a fit for you. And he was like, absolutely, I want to know. So um, we haven't connected yet, um, but it's only been a couple of days. And you know what? We might not, guys. I don't know. But my point is there are prospecting moments, cold market prospecting moments all around you. You just have to be aware. And then you have to take action. So if this has been helpful, hey, I would love for you to like it comment below, share it, share it. I would be so um, appreciative if you did, because I think there's people out there who need this information. Um, and your team would probably love to get it and would probably be really thankful to you for, for sharing it with them. If you haven't grabbed up my prospecting blueprint yet, um, there's, there's actually more information there on warm market prospecting and cold market prospecting. And, and my biggest secret to prospecting success that I really believe is one of the keys that allowed me to become the number four enroller in my home business last year. So it's emilyquisenberry.com backslash prospecting blueprint and there'll be a link for it in the post as well as well as the how to's of cold market prospecting so listen i hope you will go and make this a great day and i will see you in the next video